How's my quad squad doing? It's the man, the myth, the legend, quad MFT here. It's, what is it? What is it today? It's an advice Thursday? No, it's wisdom w- Wednesday. Wisdom, wisdom Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. Wisdom Wednesday. The, okay. The day everybody waits for. The middle of the week, Wisdom Wednesday. Even though it's Thursday. Yeah, well, you know, it's it doesn't matter. That people are listening to this for days. We do what we do. All right, you, you ready for the first one? I'm ready. I'm ready for summer. Let's go. I'm ready for summer. I love summer, right? As you know, just recently, summer started. Well, today I had to say goodbye to all my friends and amazing teachers at my amazing school. I'm going to go to a different school for the next few years to get a head start on my career choice, and none of my friends are going. I really liked it there, and all week I've been super bummed out. Is there anything you and or Quadfather could help me with, things I could do to cheer up that would be awesome? It would be amazing if that was if this was on a Wisdom Wednesday episode. Well, Wisdom Here Thursday. Uh, I keep up the good work, or, or keep up the good work on the videos, and thank you. So basically he wants to know how to keep up with his friends, mm-hmm. and they keep a good attitude. Keep it up. Okay. No, that's we can't just answer it like that. No, I'm saying that's what he's saying. Oh, what yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheer up, uh, you know, that would be awesome. I'd say, you know, don't try too hard to stay in contact with your friends from behind. Yeah. I mean, still keep in contact with them. Don't ignore them. That, that's just right. not a good decision. You're not being the original friend that you kind of signed up with for, for right. friendship. Right, and you know, the, the truth is relationships only last so long. Oh, yeah. You know, so so do what I you mean, can to keep up the ones, yeah. ones you have, but... You're going to meet some new people, and you're you going to be doing new things. You kind of get to choose who you get to keep, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think as you move through phases of life, you keep a friend or two, mm-hmm. and then you move on. I mean, unfortunately, sometimes people are in your life just for that period of time. That's true. And as special as they are, you're going to move on. You're going to have new friends. You're going to you're going to make you're going to have new interests. So you're going to have new, new things, things going on. Yeah. And, and what the basis of a friendship is things you have in common and things you both enjoy mm-hmm. and experiences you have. So, you know, you're going to make some new friends be open to it. But, you know, do do like Quad said, keep keep an open line to your your people from your past and see who really can keep in contact with you. And with making new friends, I think you probably got a good situation. You can you can do be you, but don't be silent don't oh be you can shy. kind of reinvent yourself Anytime yeah i guess you go to, to a, a certain environment. degree but like I, I heard a story where this girl will always do that on cruises like if i go on a cruise for a week uh-huh. i'm actually uh she I'm actually play a character a really really good football player i'm actually a quarterback so she would uh, lie i'm a varsity yeah actually my parents make 41 million dollars huh. a year well okay Dude, okay no don't do not do that that no no I, i'm talking <laughs> about I, i'm just saying for just uh but cool like example. when i went to college i was able to kind of change who who i thought yeah. people saw me as and i could kind of reinvent myself i guess so yeah anytime you go to a new school or a new environment you have the opportunity to say all right who am I going to be? Who? And I think it's going to be fun. I think you're oh, yeah. going to enjoy the the new time. Don't don't well, you've been think to you know this a is a few the, different schools. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I like the one that I'm at now. And yeah, that's, yeah. That's but I mean, y- you got to kind of just establish who you were when you went to a new place. Uh huh. And that's true for every environment. And you can do that. You can make friends easily. Trust me, man. It's going to be all right. Just I, I yeah. want to say, just keep yeah. just a, a second of bravery to push through. Yeah. Don't look back too much. Just keep looking forward. That's what's keep in front look, of you. There you go. That's perfect. Keep all right. Looking forward. All right, I'm ready got for the it, next man. one. Enjoy. Are you ready for the, you, you just said it? Second I'm ready. One? All right, let's go. Uh, hey, Quad and Quad Father. First of all, I love your videos and keep up the great work. So my, my problem is that my parents and I are forcing me to go to church. While I'm not a Christian, I talk to them about it, but they won't listen to what I want to say. Do you guys think I have anything to do? Because it's really pissing me off to go there. You can call me Tommy, and I'm 16 years old. Wow, that's a, that's a difficult situation because everybody who's raised in a family kind of inherits that religion. Oh, yeah, no no matter like who you are. I mean, I think the thing that you can do in this situation, this is going to be hard. You're going to get grounded for a while, but I would say Rebel? don't say I don't want to go. Mom, I, I don't want to go to church. We could say no, that. You can, yeah, go ahead. They could say, say, well, you still have to go. Mom, I, I'm not going to church today. I'm, I'm not religious. I know you want to force religion on me. Mm-hmm. But I'm not. And you're probably still going to end up getting forced to go to church just because they want right. to make you believe in whatever religion it is that you're going to church for. And I say just like deep down, don't get into the yelling and say, Mom, I don't want to go. Just like mm-hmm. literally go and talk to them and sit down with them. And have a serious conversation yeah. about what you believe. See, and- I- Please respect me, do you, even though whatever. Okay, so uh, what it if says parents, he's a Christian? But the, the, right. like God doesn't want to disrespect other religions. No, but yes, uh, he's he's saying he has another religion, and it says he no. just says, pisses him off when he goes there. 
So if it pisses Eventu- you off, it's probably not though, helping you with God. Like Tommy, I, eventually you're you're going to make your decision on where you want to go, and you kind of kind of got to weigh it. How much are your par- how much emphasis are your parents putting on it? Because you're still in their house, you still got to go by their rules. Yes. But if they know where you stand, you have the opportunity of them being understanding and saying, "Look, this is this is something we've raised you with." It's what we believe. If you don't believe it, we're not going to force you to. Or they can say, you know what? I want you to go until, like my parents said, I want you to go to church until you're 16 and then you make a choice. It's not going to make you believe. No, it's not going to make you believe, but sometimes people want to go as a family. No matter how hard I do something, I can't like, I guess you can make yourself believe something, but that's not what I was trying to say. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Do you know like... Well, you know, no matter how hard you force somebody to do something, yeah, it's not like, going to change I how they believe. I can't make someone want an education. I saw that in the right. Freedom Riders movie I watched two days ago in class. Okay. And, you, yeah, you can't make someone want an education. And you can't make someone believe a religion. There you go. But I, they're not asking him to believe a religion. They're asking him to go to church. In reality, they want him to Well, okay, I that. ask you to go to school. I don't, I don't. You don't necessarily have to believe in education. Okay, well believe but okay go on right and so but but i think they believe that you they are it's their i don't know obligation to expose you to religion and i think they've done that and their religion right well Mm -hmm. yeah see as a parent i would say i don't know i could say you you have to go because this is what we do in our family um and if if they do if they force you to then don't let it control you. Don't let it piss if you off. If you're going to have to go, like Luke just, said this, or Green Goblin HD in one of his videos, he said, mm-hmm. your mom's going to make you go shopping with her. Yep. It's, it's your choice to make it good or not, so why not make it good? Right, and that's every situation. If you have to, utterly. I, I say yeah. try. Try before yeah. not to go. Present, say, I, present it not professionally. Not argu- yeah, right, not in an argumentative way. Because mm-hmm. if, you, if you try to pull the power struggle thing, if your parents should win that power struggle, and you should lose if you just try to say, nah-uh. They'll yeah. say, oh, yeah, you want it. But if they actually understand where you're coming from, you Some have a better chance. Some parents can be delusional. So yeah, I don't know well, what state you know, or people what are, trance your parents are. People now. are people. Kids yeah. are delusional. Parents are delusional. You're delusional. All right, you want to move on to the next question? Your, your mom's delusional. Yes, I'm let's not. move on. All right. Uh, Thanks, hey, Squad. Tommy. I'm 16 and my friend is 14. We both want to vape or have an e-cig. Okay. We both play sports. However, my brother's 18 and can hook us up. I don't know whether we should try to stay healthy for sports. We both are in the starting lineup for basketball and soccer. What are your thoughts? Now, uh, I, 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 I'm I'm very prevalent in this situation. Now, vaping, which is just like water vapor, that will not affect your health. I, okay. I, I 100% I don't, promise you. It, I, I know they. it's another nicotine delivery system. No, it is not. It is it's not, not exclusively. Did you not listen? It is not nicotine. Right. No, I hear Vape I hear is you. not nicotine. Some are. But I, I don't I, know, so okay. teach me the about it. The vape that you think you're going to use, they probably don't want to use an, uh, a nicotine vape. That's why they mentioned e-cigs and vapes, because they probably believe that e-cigs are, uh, well, are the, actually like... Uh, nic- t- they, they are nicotine, too. But, okay, what I say uh, really quickly is e-cigs, don't do them. They're dumb. They're nicotine. It's just like doing a regular cigarette, but probably not as bad for no, you. No, probably not as bad, because you're burning stuff. You don't want nicotine, dude. It's... <laughs> No, no, I've I've been down that road, and nicotine is a, is a subtle drug. It's not like a, a hallucinogen or anything. Oh, it's obviously. a subtle drug that is works very hard on on the. It, it has a high addictive rate. It has a mm-hmm. high relapse rate, and I'm very proud that I don't use nicotine. I don't chew. I don't smoke. Uh huh. You know, so I, because it was mm-hmm. really hard to hard to quit. So I wouldn't dance on that if yeah. if you didn't. Not with the e cigs. Don't mess. But that's just dumb. In okay, my so there's a difference but between e cigs and vapes. Huge. Okay, oh. and vape. I think you. It's okay to do it. Just don't post it on social media. What's then what's, lo- what's in a vape? Water vapor. That's it. And flavoring. Okay, so you're basically inhaling steam with flavor. Yep. Well, what's the downside? Well, there's exactly. Got, that's what I say. So well, you want to go buy me one? There's got to be a downside with with whatever the chemicals are, right? Like, Possibly. Who knows? Really. I, that's the thing. Really. My my I, impression no. is they outlawed it in L.A. You can't do them. At e cigs, not vapes. Okay. And of course, in a restaurant. Right in a restaurant. Yes, of what, course. But if it's just water vapor, it doesn't matter. It still looks bad. If it, it was my restaurant, I'd outlaw it too. Yeah. And, and I think another reason is they don't know enough about what the actual chemical is. It's literally are. just water. Vape, vape, I'm saying. Okay. Not hookah, not e-cigs, but literally, I think it's okay to vape. It's not going to mess with your basketball, soccer, football, anything like that. Hmm. Make sure you don't post it on social media. It looks really dumb. But he says, do, should I be healthy or 
<laughs> yeah, he, he thinks yeah, so. he thinks vapes aren't healthy, but right. it's up to you. It's always your decision, man. I hope you it's guys enjoy. Make an informed choice. Uh huh. Learn, learn about, about it. it. There you go. There you, there go. you go. Quad and quadify. All right. All right. Hope squad. you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe and join the hashtag Quad Squad. It's been Quad MFT, and I'm out of five thousand. And I'll see you at the vape lounge. <laughs>